A sad note on this Labor Day, Trinity Henniger has died. He's the young man who was injured in an ATV accident three weeks ago. Despite good news on his condition earlier this week, Trinity, a 16-year-old junior at Campbell County High School, took a turn for the worse around lunchtime yesterday. He passed away just before 5 p.m. yesterday at the UT Medical Center. Trinity was airlifted Monday night, August 13th, to the UT Medical Center, where he underwent surgery midday on Tuesday the 14th. He and two classmates were riding in the Dokes Creek area near the Campbell-Claiborne County line when Henniger was injured just before 9 p.m. Friday night's accident victims are all home this evening. Tommy Lee Jones was not injured. Laura Gross was treated Friday night at the La Follette Medical Center and released. Daniel Lau was airlifted to the UT Medical Center and then released yesterday. For anyone traveling near the La Follette Middle School soon after dark last Friday night, the scene looked frightening. Four ambulances, a couple of wreckers, rescue squad units, several police cars along with orange cones redirecting traffic along with a big flashing arrow. La Follette Police Chief Jimmy Jeffries tells WLAF that just before 9 p.m., an empty 18-wheeler coal truck ran a Toyota Corolla off East Central Avenue down an embankment. The big rig, driven by 31-year-old Tommy Lee Jones of La Follette, landed with the car in the parking lot of the Faithway Assembly of God Church across the street from the La Follette Post Office. The driver of the car is identified as 34-year-old Laura Gross of La Follette and her passenger as 35-year-old Daniel Lau of Clinton. Chief Jeffries goes on to say that both vehicles were traveling east when the 18-wheeler cut over on the car. Jeffries says that Jones is charged with failure to maintain control of a vehicle causing an accident with injury. The La Follette City Council will be meeting tomorrow night, September 4th at 6 p.m., and on the agenda is the viewing of the new website, approved re-advertising for roofing bids, and approved removal of the fountain in Freeman Park, along with more. We'll have the highlights of the meeting right here on WLAF for you on Wednesday morning. And remember, tomorrow night is the community prayer meeting at 7 o'clock at the Old West La Follette School. And that's a look at the news. Stay tuned for a lengthy press release from the Sheriff's Department coming up. And taking a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department, 43 people were booked into the county jail over the weekend. Thurman Gregory Baird, age 30, of Kyle Street in Jellicoe, on an attachment for child support. 36-year-old Gregory Keith Ball of East Davis Lane in Jellicoe entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Jesse Ray Bernard, 37, of North 13th Street, La Follette, for public intoxication, domestic assault, and disorderly conduct. Talisha Dawn Blankenship, 33, of Gamble Lane, La Follette, for shop fifty. 45-year-old Terry Dwayne Bray of Garden Lane, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Kimberly Ann Campbell, 54, of Shady Cove Road in Caraval, for theft of property under $500. 55-year-old Robert E. Chadwell of Demery Road, La Follette, for possession of a Schedule IV controlled substance, failure to appear, and on three counts of capious bench warrant. Billy Ray Cornett, 72, of Bethlehem Road, La Follette, habitual motor offender. 29-year-old Christopher L. Doherty of Davis Chapel Road, La Follette, for DUI, possession of a Schedule VI controlled substance, possession of drug paraphernalia, and failure to maintain control of a vehicle. 
Jacob P. Doherty, 21, of Asbury Road in Jacksboro for DUI and failure to yield to emergency vehicle. 22-year-old Jarrett Lynn Davis of Weirwood Drive in Jacksboro for DUI, violation of the window tent law, violation of the seat belt law, and violation of the move over law. Jonathan Durham, 22, of Brook Place Lane, La Follette, for violation of the registration law, the seat belt law, and on a capious bench warrant. 43 year old David Wayne Durkee of Stevens Lane, La Follette, for failure to obey a police officer, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. Toby Quentin Ellison, 28, of Butter and Egg Road in Jacksboro, for criminal impersonation, violation of probation, and resisting a stop frisk halt search order. 18 year old Tessie Elaine Farley, of Taswell, for disorderly conduct. Patrick Jonathan Fourier, 44, of Andersonville, entered the jail to serve court imposed time. Cynthia F. Gaylor, 41, of Brook Place Lane, La Follette, for DUI. 26-year-old Sean Paul Goins of Cross Valley Road, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant. Elmer Green, 58, of Demery Road, La Follette, for driving while revoked or suspended, third offense, habitual motor vehicle offender, criminal impersonation, violation of probation, two counts of a capious bench warrant, introduction of contraband into a penal institution, possession of a Schedule II and Schedule IV controlled substance, driving while revoked, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Adrian Scott Gross, 21, of East Beach Street, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant and driving while suspended. 36-year-old Troy Thomas Hoagland of Knoxville for DUI. Fred Thomas Jones, Jr., 56, of Haversham Road in Duff, for public intoxication, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. 45-year-old Betty Lou Kemp, of East Walden Street, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant, and failure to appear. Charles Cecil King, 41, of South Main Street in Jellicoe, for possession of a Schedule VI controlled substance, violation of a drug-free school zone, and public intoxication. 18-year-old Aaron Lynn Lamar of Pleasant Ridge, La Follette, for theft of property, under $500. Sonny L. McHenry, 34, of Blue Springs Road, La Follette, for public intoxication and possession of a Schedule IV and Schedule VI controlled substance. Matthew Mills, 42, of College Hill Road, La Follette, for violation of probation. 29-year-old Jeffrey Allen Mounts, of North Mountain Lane, La Follette, for driving while suspended and violation of the light law. Gary Lee Muse, 35, of Elk Fork Lane, in La Follette, for driving while suspended and violation of the light law. 21-year-old Kevin Andrew Myers, of Fairway Drive, La Follette, violation of a traffic control device, violation of the registration law, and DUI. 31-year-old Dusty A. Napier of Rose Hill Drive, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Darrell Roland Overbay, 42, of Overbay Lane in Caraval, for driving while revoked. 19-year-old Dakota Rorick of Powell Lane and Speedwell for domestic violence by assault, possession of a Schedule VI controlled substance, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Thomas Maynard Robertson, 26, of North 27th Street, La Follette, for driving while revoked and on a capious bench warrant. 40-year-old Verlinda L. Savage of Del Rio Lane, La Follette, for public intoxication. Michael Wayne Shoops, 42, of East Maple Street, Caraval, on a capious bench warrant. 40-year-old Tanya Michelle Shoops, of East Maple Street, in Caraval, on a capious bench warrant. Sandra Lee Smith, 41, of Stevens Lane, La Follette, for DUI and violation of the implied consent law. 
38-year-old Brian Welch of Carrollton Road in Knoxville on an attachment for child support. 21-year-old Jackson Tyler White of East Central Avenue, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. John N. White, 29, of Campbell Lane, La Follette, on a capius, and last today, 56-year-old Leroy Williams of Mill Road in Cincinnati for DUI, speeding, possession of a Schedule VI controlled substance, and possession of drug paraphernalia, as well as reckless driving. And that's a look at the news and the press release. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to join us again tomorrow when life gets back to normal after this holiday weekend. Good Monday evening, Campbell County. Hope everyone's had a good weekend. Time now for the Eastside Pizza and Deli and WLF Birthday Club. Today, celebrating a birthday, we have Cecil Ward, Dylan Shane Phillips, Cora Fowler, Jerry Summers, Marie Carroll, Theo and Mia Mayer, twins, Belated birthday to Goldie Cox, Brandon Miller, Tristan Gilliam, Jess Ward, a belated birthday to Heather Chapman, and a belated birthday to Ray Hopkins. For our anniversaries today, Cecil and Clotine, Jim and Debbie Edmonds, and Bob and Virgie Walden, all celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. So, that does it for today. I want to remind everybody you can call, email, or fax us. Get your birthday or anniversary announced right here on TV and radio. And be eligible for Friday's drawing for two free dinners from Eastside Pizza in Delhi. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned. Your news continues after this.